Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. It is 12.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this 16th day of June 2021. Happy Wednesday. I want to zoom into the hourly here on Cardano because this triangle that we've, and fan that we've kind of uh, continued to see play out here. And, you know, it's it's coming it's coming at a time when the Fed notes are going to come out lay up in roughly an hour and 10 minutes. And it's right on the upper trend line of this wedge or triangle. And if we zoom out to like the four hour chart, you know, we can see that there's a, a pretty clear high volume node uh, at 120. I mean, this isn't really a whole lot different from what we've been talking about, but just letting you know that it's it's right there. I mean, we're right on the cusp of a big drop. And this could turn ultimately turn into a massive rally as well, because at least on the four hour chart, I mean, all that really has to happen for a bullish outlook is a close at 165. Um, you know, rather, I mean, above 166, and that's what we'd be looking for. I mean, these two levels that I wrote about yesterday, they st they're still valid. Uh, but if we look at the daily chart, I want to call your attention to the oscillators because these are kind of what you, you should... Well, what I'm looking at is the measure of the likelihood that something moves further south. So the percent B is about to drop below 0.2. And if that happens and the RSI is still above 40, that means we could see a really big cascade event further south. And, and, and what might contribute to that is the composite index dropping down as well. Now look at the conditions on the weekly chart. The oscillator levels are are fairly normal and trending south with the uh, weekly RSI uh, it has yet to tag the level 50 zone, <coughs> which is the first oversold level in a bull market. So we haven't even tested that yet. And that's where I think we will probably see Cardano find support uh, over the near term, especially as it, you know, if it gets to level 50. That means it's probably trading at the dollar twenty zone. And let me just make a little note here of that. Um, uh, what is that? Weekly RSI at fifty. Likely means um, prices at the one twenty value area. That's really big text. That's really tiny text. There you go. And then if the weekly RSI is at 40, likely means price is at the 0 0.84 to 0 0.94 value area. So that's what I think we should look at as we're moving forward. Again, I mean, in roughly an hour now from my time at the time of doing this, we will see the fallout of the uh, Fed's uh, comments and uh, Chairman U.S. Chairman Powell. Uh, and that does affect cryptocurrencies now. They are not they don't operate in a vacuum anymore. So kind of one of these hurry up and wait scenarios. But those are the levels we're looking at. And. Look forward to talking with you all tomorrow. From all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.